all the Malus in the house. Big <laughs> shout out from my Malu girl Malvika here. Mm. Malvika is a singer and a songwriter, and she's releasing her EP mm -hmm. or album soon. When we talked about what she wanted for this cover to look like, you tell us what you wanted. I wanted something real and uh, something that embodies the whole spirit of what I've written the album for. So Rush is really about passion. It's about making sacrifices and changing things around. The album's called Rush, right? It's called Rush, yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to keep it real. I wanted to keep it... Stripped um, down and bare. Stripped down and bare. But at the same time, your music, you wanted it to be a little more sophisticated yeah, looking. Yeah, so something effective, yet yeah. simple. Indeed, she's got a natural brush and great skin. So there's a lot of prep work, more than foundation and concealer. There's a lot of prep that goes into the skin. So that's what we'll focus on today. Just so we get that lush, loved up skin at the end of it. Um, so let's go. Starting with Smashbox Primer Water. This is great for hydrating, prepping the skin. So once you've done that, you give it about 30 seconds, let it settle into the skin. The next thing I'm taking is Claren's Beauty Flash Balm. I love this product. It's what I've worn under my makeup as well. It's creamy like butter. Just like that, I'm going to let it sit on top of the skin. Now this foundation by Bare Minerals is in the shade 10. I'm going to take some of this on the back of my hand. I'm just going to layer this on her skin, like so. Rub it in with my finger. Everything's blending together. Cover any red spots that you might have. Now with a damp beauty blender, I'm going to just go in and blend out all of this. Make it look more seamless. Now this concealer is by NYX, in the shade Almond. I'm going to just put that in the inner corners uh, and anywhere there might be a little redness. Once you've blended that concealer in, I've got this Duo Contour V Face Stick by Maybelline. I love it because it's super creamy and super blendable. I call it my Jedi stick. Okay, now this high, uh, contour right there under the cheekbones, fall it under the jawline, thin line on the side of the nose, the perimeter of the face as always. I'm also going to contour on the sides of her neck and in this decolletage area, like so. My favorite thing about this product is that you can blend it with just your fingers. It's super creamy, just like so. Now with the highlighter, I'm going to draw some fancy high points right there. And put a little bit on the center of the eyelid, uh, a little bit here, on the chin. On the collarbone now, as opposed to in the corners. Right, a little bit on the shoulder area. Again, blend this with just your hands. Now this creamy blusher is by Givenchy and it's called, woo, it's a nice moussey formula. It's called Rose Extravagant. Now with my tiny blusher brush, I'm gonna take just a wee bit of this pink blush and it's a very potent color. I'm going to make sure I spread it on my hand first so I don't get too much on. I smile because I smile and just throw that on the apples of her cheek. Blending up right there. And then just the faintest bit on just the tip of her nose. So it gives her that sort of raw looking, like she's been out in the cold kind of vibe. Now this trick is what I like to do. This with a little shadow brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of the same blusher, blend it on my hand so I don't have too much product. Ask Malvika to look up at the roof and throw this on the under eyes. Again, so it looks raw and the face gets this beautiful, fragile quality to it. Now this illuminator by Anastasia Beverly Hills is called Starlight, and I'm gonna take a wee bit of this with my fan brush, throw it on the bridge of the nose, like I normally do, just a little bit on the eyelid, right in the middle, right there. A little bit on the forehead, right there. Now my latest find by Tarte, I bought a few palettes by Tarte. This is called the Tartiest Pro. It's got beautiful earthy tones like that and a few metallic ones here. So I'm picking this Innocent, which is like a pinky beige, and then just put this color right there in the corner, blend it into the crease, and I'm using a Real Techniques um, angular brush, but a fluffy angular brush. So in the inner corners of the eyes right there. So what I'm trying to achieve with this is really giving the eye a little more dimension but a very soft one at that. 
And then you can take a deeper tone like this one called No Filter. It's slightly more mauve-y. And I'm going to put this on the outer crease, right there. And then blend it out. I love using fingers to blend imperfect techniques for a perfected skin. Mm -hmm. Now this brow pomade by Maybelline is the deepest color they have. It's just a waxy fat crayon. You just draw over your brow, like so. And then with a spoolie brush, just brush the crayon out. So it sort of fills, but very softly. This mascara called Phenomenize by Givenchy gives me very specific control. So it doesn't end up looking too sensational, too hectic and glam. It just, just defines the eyelash, uh, the eye line a little more. Now we're two products away from makeup being finished. One is a lip balm. This is called Color Bloom um, by Maybelline in the shade Peach, smile darling. And it's a lip balm, but it sort of reacts with the temperature of the body and then it, it becomes pink. And then just to clean out that lip line, make it a little more defined, this one is Peony by NYX. I'm just gonna go over the lip liner ever so gently, defining the outline a little bit. And then to finish off the face, I've got this NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. Now it not only sets makeup, but sets it with a dewy finish. So if Malvika closes her eyes, shake the bottle and spritz it again. So we can even put it on the body. Let the skin absorb that. Now for her hair, naturally she's got this beautiful bob. It's quite lovely, um, which has just been blast dried. So I'm going to go in with my Texture Maker Spray by Sebastian. This is gonna give us just immense texture. Um, I'm gonna spray it first close to the scalp right there. Give it a rub in. Take a nice deep side parting. Gives it that wet look. So it gives it that nice wet look. And just scrunch. And now just see how the hair is falling. So you can give it whatever desired shape you want. You have that beautiful texture coming into a natural texture here. It's these, this juxtaposition of textures happening that makes it interesting. And then finally, with my Shape of Fear spray by Sebastian, I'm going to just keep this shape locked in place and keep the curl that she has locked in place. That's, that's the look, I, I love it. Uh, let's show Malvika what she looks like. Let's see. Yeah, it's like a different person. <laughs> but it's still raw looking, no? Yeah. Doesn't feel too, doesn't feel made up or... It's like an enhanced... Me? Yeah. You can call it that. Yeah, that's it. Clean, simple, fresh. And don't forget to keep your eyes and your ears open um, for Malvika's Rush album. We like you, wish you luck. Thank, Thank you, you so for much, being on the Rajan. channel. Don't forget to check out Malvika's social media. It's right underneath there. I'm giving you the handles as we speak. And mine as well on all social media is Elton J. Fernandez. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done. Take care. <laughs>